let's install git bash into visual studio code and to do this we can go to git scmcom and download it for our operating system here i'll download it for windows and git bash is a application for microsoft windows environments which provides an emulation layer for git command line experience and uh, bash is commonly used on linux so if you're familiar with the uh, bash commands there uh, this is a great way to integrate it into the visual studio code command line so we'll go ahead and we'll just download that and we'll just click next and remember we're downloading it to the c drive with program file slash git and we'll just click next for that option and next again and we want to make Visual Studio Code the uh, default editor in which we're using Git for, or Git Bash. So we'll click Next. Can use it as a default for the command prompt as well, but here we'll just use the uh, recommended settings for the uh, third-party software, VS Code. So we'll just go ahead and click Next. Uh, next for that. Next for that. And next for that as well. And we'll just go ahead and install it. We'll wait for that to install. Okay, let's not view the release notes. Let's just go to next. And we won't launch git bash either because we want to set it up in vs code in particular so what we can do is we can open it up visual studio code. and if you don't have visual studio code you can look at my previous video on how to install visual studio code it's pretty straightforward but we can go to that program files where we installed it and we'll go into the git and where we can go into the bin folder and that's where the bash program is um, so we can just copy that path there and that's what we'll be copying into the Visual Studio Code. So we'll go into preferences, we'll go into settings and then we'll go and search for it. So to change the uh, JSON file in the settings in Visual Studio Code, we just take a look at the documentation and we want to change the integrated terminal, the integrated shell. So we can go ahead and we can add that setting to the file path, the terminal.integrated.shell.windows to the file location and by default this will be where Windows puts it. And with that we can now use the bash um, uh, command line. So you can open up the new terminal and use that.